Nigeria has now fully commenced the second phase of the COVID-19 vaccination rollout plan across the 36 states and the federal capital territory. But experts are concerned that developing countries will not meet their vaccination target of 40% due to vaccine inadequacy. Kemi Balogun reports on this. A little over 1 million doses of the Johnson & Johnson vaccines have been received over the weekend through the AVAD platform as facilitated by the AU. As more vaccines come in and vaccinations continue across countries, there is still a threat that many developing countries will not achieve their targets. Globally, about 5 billion doses have been admitted, but more than 75% admitted in just 10 countries. In Africa, we need about 272 million doses of the vaccines to reach our target of 10% of each country uh, getting vaccinated. And we need additional 922 million doses for the continent to meet the 40% target set in December. The second phase of the COVID-19 rollout campaign is in full gear, with more than 3 million eligible Nigerians inoculated with their first dose. And about 1.5 million have been fully vaccinated with the AstraZeneca vaccine. The breakthrough infection concern is also one of the issues highlighted as the vaccination process is ongoing. One thing that we have observed is that in these individuals, the infection is usually very mild. In a number of cases, it is completely asymptomatic, right? Just because of the protection provided by uh, the vaccine. One million people have been vaccinated. And in the last week, three times the country touched 100,000 per day mark. And that's something really commendable. And moving forward, we need to ensure that we touch this mark of 100,000 per day very consistently. In recent days, there have been mixed reactions about the isolation of Nigerian travelers going to the UK. And the agency is now clarifying the protocols of travelers coming into the country or traveling into other countries. Individuals from countries listed as AMBA countries are required by the UK government to take a COVID-19 test upon arrival and be quarantined for a few days. Regardless of a vaccine type or vaccination status, if a Nigerian with a Nigerian passport travels to a country on their green list and spends 14 days there before going to the UK, they will not be quarantined in the UK because they are coming from a country that is listed as green. The agency admits that the COVID-19 vaccination will be a process that will last for decades, which means it will linger. So vaccine hesitancy is just slowing down the inevitable. Kemi Balogun, TVC News, Abuja.